In this chapter, we'll be talking about a distribution which is called the log normal distribution. Now, assume that we have a variable y, and y is distributed with a normal distribution, right? y has a normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared. Now, let's define a relationship between y and a new variable called x, and this is the relationship. x would be equal to e to the power of y, right? This y is this y right here which has a normal distribution. So we say that x has a log normal distribution. Now the reason for calling this a log normal distribution is if we take uh, the natural logarithm from both sides of this relationship right here then we have ln of x and that'll be equal to y. Okay. Now the domain of y is from minus infinity to plus infinity, right? The uh, variable y can have values from minus infinity to plus infinity, but the domain of x right, has values only from 0 to plus infinity. And why is that? Well, again, let's look at this relationship. As y goes to minus infinity, well, then x goes to 0. And as y goes to plus infinity, well, then x goes to plus infinity. So we say that x has a log normal distribution with parameters mu and sigma squared. Now we have to be careful here because this mu and sigma squared are not actually parameters of x but they're parameters of y. Those are these parameters right here. Okay, So mu and sigma squared are the expectation of variance of the variable y. So how do we calculate the expectation of variance of x? Well, the expectation of x is equal to e to the power of mu plus one-half sigma squared. And the variance of x, well, that's equal to e to the power of sigma squared minus 1 times e to the power of 2 times mu plus sigma squared. Also, the shape of the uh, log normal distribution, well, the log normal distribution has uh, a right asymmetry, right? It has a long tail going off to the right. 